Welcome to our course on setting up a local host server on your own machine. Within this course, we're going to be covering off how to set up AMPS. So AMPS gives you the ability to run an Apache server, MySQL, PHP server right within your own computer system. So without having to update and send files to a server, it's great to set up a local machine as a testing environment and to try out different server side scripts and also to troubleshoot and debug your own scripts and get them working properly within your local machine before you make them live to the world. My name is Lawrence and I'm going to be your instructor for this course. So I've been a web developer for a number of years. I've developed many applications and one of the ways that I go about developing applications is that I run them first on my own computer system and then I upload them live to the world on my web server. And that's where using local machines is really important as a web developer to save you a lot of time. Within this course, we're going to be looking at AMPS. Now there's a number of different applications that you can use in order to set up a local machine. Uh, there's XAMPP and AMPS as well has a lot more options than typical XAMPP installation. So if you need a little bit more power, then take a look at AMPS and see what it all has to offer. And this course is going to walk you through all of the basics to get you up and running with AMPS really quickly and also give you some of the highlighted features that are available within AMPS. Now you see that with AMPS we have Apache, we have MySQL and PHP, but we also have a Mongo database, we have Python and a whole lot more. And the really cool thing about AMPS is that it comes with Softalicious Auto Installer. That means that you have over 300 applications ready to go to be installed within your local computer that you can utilize within your AMPS installation. This course is going to walk you through setting up and installing AMPS, where to download it, and then we're going to look at how we can configure it. So installation and looking at the control panel and all the really cool things that you can do within the control panel, including starting your server and running your MySQL, your Mongo database, FTP, and a whole lot more. So all of this is available within the control panel. This is the new version of AMPS version 3.6. So it does look a little bit different than the previous versions. And one of the other things about AMPS that's really cool, you can actually flip between the different versions of PHP, which is not available in all of the local machines. So you can go up to version 7, you could bring your system back to 5.3. Whatever your application needs and requires, you can really easily accommodate it. So the main cool thing about AMPS is that it's got all of these end user options here. So I'm going to just open up our AMPS control panel and that's available here and you can see that immediately there's just a ton of stuff here. Uh, so these are all the applications that are ready to go and in the course I'm going to show you how to set up WordPress and it's literally going to take under a minute to set up and install and you're going to be blown away at how easy it is to install these these blogs. So those, uh, look at all the versions of blogs. You have CMS systems that are available. You've got micro blogs that are available, social networking, and anything that you can think of that's popular online as an applications, you can pretty much find here within AMPS. And these are just simply one click to install and really easy to get set up on your machine. So there's also an AMPS admin panel which lets you give you gives you even more control over your AMPS install. There's uh, PHP My Admin gets installed. Uh, so this is similar to other applications where you can go to localhost forward slash PHP My Admin control your da database. So this is all available. Uh, this one actually is going to be the WordPress install that we're going to be doing within the course as well. So it's going to uh, see how easily you can access it and even more. Uh, so going back to what else we're going to look at within this course, we're going to look at how we can manage SQL Lite. So this is another option that's available in AMPS, uh, FTP Manager. There's also adding on domains, so you can have multiple applications running simultaneously. All you have to do is add them as domains, so you can have WordPress installed and any other number of applications plus your own custom applications. Uh, also how we can select scripts. 
So in this instance, we're going to be installing WordPress. So how we can select from all of those hundreds of scripts that are available, get them set up and installed. And once they're installed, you can even do backups of them and you can restore them. Uh, so that's another really great option within AMPS that you can do all of this. Uh, you can update your versions of the installs. So if WordPress gets dated, you can always go and update the, the version uh, directly within your scripts within AMPS, or you could go into the WordPress install and update it there as well. So there's a lot of great features that are going to be available that we're going to be highlighting. So let's jump right in and set up AMPS on our computers and get going with all of the amazing things that we can do with AMPS.